Hello, my name is Patrick Usher, and in this video I want to discuss the topic of normal heart rate increase uh, from supine to standing in those without postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. Uh, this is an important topic because it provides us with a benchmark for what uh, recovery means uh, for those who have POTS now but in the future um, recover. How do they know they've recovered apart from just feeling much better? In terms of their heart rate scores, what should they be um, to know truly that they are in fact out of the woods, they no longer have POTS? What kind of scores are they looking for from supine to standing? And it's also an important topic because there's quite a, uh, quite a bit of confusion uh, surrounding this question um, and quite a bit of misinformation as well. So I want to address it um, so as to give people a benchmark and also just, just to provide clarity, because it's not a question that many people will ask themselves, um, and um, it's really a question that's most of interest to those who have POTS and who are trying to get better. So, um, the first thing I want to say, just to look at my notes, um, is to say what is not the case. Okay, And this is where there's a degree of confusion because um, you may read the idea on the internet, uh, in POTS forums or here or there, that the no normal situation for the heart rate from supine to standing is that it basically doesn't change. So the idea goes that if your supine heart rate is 75 or 70 and you stand up, it should basically be pretty much the same, so 70 again. Um, or you see the idea put forward that um, you stand up and your heart rate goes up for the first few minutes, but then it's meant to settle back down. So uh, someone has a supine heart rate of 70, they stand up, it's 85, 90, and then uh, after a few minutes it should go back down to around 70. This is simply untrue um, and uh, very, very inaccurate. Okay. Um, your heart must beat faster when you stand up. It has no choice in this matter. Okay, The body is engaged in a lot more activity when you stand up. There's a lot more demands placed on this cardiovascular system. Um, there's a lot more demands placed on it due to gravity. Uh, when you're lying down, your body is relaxed. Your veins are relaxed. They're dilated. Uh, vasodilation is occurring. Your, your blood vessels are open relaxed, your heart is having a much easier time of it, your muscles are mainly relaxed when you lie down, uh, they're not contracted. Uh, and then when you stand up, all of that changes. Your muscles contract. They have to contract to hold you upright, otherwise you just fall down. Right? Um, your blood vessels squeeze, they constrict uh, in the healthy person. Um, 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 so, so at some level the muscles are working. Uh, even if it's slight, they still have to work. And, of course, you're upright. All of a sudden, your heart, which beforehand, all it had to do was pump blood around a supine body, which is much easier, now suddenly has to work against gravity to pump blood up to the brain. Uh, whereas before, you're lying down, and it's much easier. Um, the effort required is, is much slighter. So you stand up, the muscles are suddenly being used, um, the heart has to beat... Uh, faster to get blood to the brain, right? Because it's hard. You're in gravity then, right? Um, so from, from all those sort of um, uh, basic scientific points of view, your heart must beat faster when you stand up, and it must stay beating faster. Um, there's simply no choice in this matter. And I talk about this uh, in my book, um, Parts What It Really Is and Why It Happens, on page 12. Uh, which I'll read in a second, um, but I just want to add, yes, so the, the thing is then, okay, well, well, how much more should the heart beat upon standing up? Uh, what is a normal increase? And I'll speak to that in a moment. So I say on page 12, it is, of course, normal for the heart rate to increase upon standing up in everyone, for the heart has to work harder to pump blood to the brain in response to the extra work of being extra work, sorry, of being upright, i.e. in gravity. However, in the person 
without POTS syndrome, the heart rate usually only increases between 10 to 20 beats from supine to standing, not 30, 40 or even 50 beats more, as is seen in the case of the POTS patient. As Professor Raj, as Professor Satish Raj, who studies dysautonomia uh, first at Vanderbilt and now at Calgary University, as Professor Raj, as it's a hot day here today, I'll try again. As Professor Raj has written of the heart rate increase upon standing in the healthy person, the, quote, assumption of upright posture results in a 10 to 20 beats per minute increase in heart rate. Okay, uh, so that's normal. Um, normal to have a 10 to 20 beat increase in heart rate. Um, I also quote some other scholars. Shall I read that? Yes. Uh, similarly, Wieling and... These are Dutch names. Um, Wieling and Grotus, I, I'm not sure, okay? I, very limited Dutch. Write that under normal circumstances, orthostatic pooling of blood begins almost immediately upon the change from supine to the upright posture. The bulk of total change occurs within the first five to 10 seconds. In humans, orthostatic adjustments are provided by an effective set of blood pressure regulatory mechanisms. They maintain blood pressure at an appropriate level for perfusion of the vital organs, even for the brain, which is located above the heart. To achieve this, the regulatory systems increase heart rate, cardiac contractility, and vascular tone to stabilize blood pressure at the level of the heart and brain. So it has to happen, okay? It must increase. There's no choice. Um, likewise, uh, there are other, other sources uh, which back this up. So from uh, MedHelp, um, they say that normal heart rate for an adult is 60 to 100 beats per minute when resting. Uh, you should expect an increase of, of up to uh, 10 beats per minute from lying to sitting, and an additional 10 beats per minute from uh, sitting to standing. Okay, uh, so in that case, they're talking about up to 20 beats increase. Similarly, the website Texas Heart um, says that, and this, is, this was a, something written by Mohammed Saeed, who's a cardiologist at that institute, and he wrote that in adults, uh, the heart rate tends to be slower when supine, about 60 to 70 beats per minute, and speeds up when we sit or stand, between 70 to 90 beats per minute. So again, there's a kind of 20 increase there. Um, and finally, uh, the Livestrong website uh, says that if you measure your resting heart rate standing up, versus lying down, the number may be 10 to 15 beats higher. So they, they say 10 to 15, but Professor Raj says 10 to 20, and it is 10 to 20, that's normal. Uh, and in some cases, of course, people have an increase of between 20 but less than 30. Um, so they still don't meet the diagnostic criterion for POTS of, of plus 30 beats per minute. Um, now, for those people, what's going on? Usually they're just unfit, okay? Um, I haven't managed to find the source, but, but a few uh, about a year and a half ago, I read an article which talked about different heart rate ranges upon standing, and they had what was called the delta heart range, which is if you have a heart rate increase of between 20 to 30 beats upon standing. And, and if my memory serves me correctly in that article, they talked about that as being indicative of just um, cardiovascular weakness through deconditioning. So that plays a role as well. Okay, so you could have an increase of more than 20, but less than 30, and... Uh, that isn't indicative of POTS, okay? It's indic it, just, just, it may just be indicative of being unfit, okay? Um, so basically, what all of this means is that if you are recovering from POTS by following the brain rewiring program that is the DNRS, Dynamic Neural Retraining System, um, you have recovered when your heart rate is consistently going up between 10 to 20 beats per minute. And you may have recovered even if it's going up... Um, at more than 20 but less than 30. You may just be unfit. Uh, or your net proteins may not have healed up yet. Um, if that is all Greek to you, um, watch my hour-long talk on, on, on this channel as to why the net protein, uh, net proteins being deficient or healed up is important. Um, so if you have an increase of 10 to 20 beats per minute, you are out of the woods. You no longer have parts. Hallelujah. Uh, go and have... Uh, uh, some sort of celebratory drink. Um, um, uh, I don't drink alcohol anymore, but you know, something, it could be whatever. Mango lassi, 
Anyway, um, you know, you're out of the woods, okay? And um, it is absolutely not the case that your heart rate is meant to be the same as when you're lying down. No one's is like that. It would be nuts, okay? Um, it's beyond the laws of gravity and physics uh, for that to be the case. Um, the, the other thing is, and this is of course why the criterion is 30 beats per minute. If it were the case that, you know, it should be a cause for concern if your heart rate goes up, say, 15 beats per minute from supine to standing, then that would be the criterion for POTS. But it's not. It's 30. And there's a reason for that. Um, because that's, that's a significant increase uh, above and beyond the normal. Right? Um, uh, now, in, in the Netherlands, uh, the suggested increase criterion for POTS is 27.5, I think. Um, and for children, they often put it at plus uh, or 40 or more beats per minute. Uh, because uh, in children, the heart rate uh, increases even more from supine to standing. So um, I hope this, this is a helpful video um, for those of you who are recovering to know what, your, what your benchmark is, what you're aiming at, what's normal. Um, and, um, you know, when I was sick, I, I got a lot of my friends to, to, uh, uh, to indulge me and to, to measure their heart rate from supine to standing. And it was usually things like lying down 68, standing up 82, you know, things like that. Um, I have one friend, actually, who, who's very athletic, uh, or was then, anyway, uh, um, but um, his lying down heart rate was 40 and his standing up one was 70, but he didn't have POTS. So it is actually possible, um, you know, so that, that's indicative, his low heart rate is indicative of, of a kind of athletic heart, um, but when he stood up it was 70, and he doesn't have any of the symptoms of POTS. And if you read some of the articles online about POTS, um, they also make the point that your heart rate can increase 30 beats per minute um, from supine to standing and you have no, none of the symptoms of POTS and therefore you don't actually have it. So you have to have the other symptoms as well. You have to have uh, all of the horrible symptoms. Um, really, to, it's not just heart rate, is the point. Anyway, um, so that is that. 10 to 20 beats per minute means recovery. That is the criterion for recovery. That is the criterion for normality. Um, and I hope that uh, it's helpful and that there's, there's anyone out there who's rewiring and they're wondering, oh, why hasn't my heart rate gone way down? You know, it's not meant to. Okay, it's not meant to. So that's all I want to say about that. And I wish you a pleasant day wherever you are.